Heavenly Father, you have been our dwelling place in all generations. Before the mountains were brought forth or ever you had formed the earth and the world, even from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. Sovereign Lord, awaken our hearts to pay attention to your wisdom and lend an ear to your understanding that we may appreciate good judgment and our lips may keep knowledge. For the lips of an immoral woman drip honey and her mouth is smoother than oil, but in the end she is bitter as wormwood, sharp as a two-edged sword. Her feet go down to death, her steps lay hold of hell, her ways are unstable. Oh, that we may hear you and not depart from the words of your mouth, so that we will turn and run far away from the door of sin. For when wisdom enters our heart and knowledge is pleasant to our soul, discretion will preserve us and understanding will keep us to deliver us from the immoral woman, from the seductress who flatters with her words, who forsakes the companion of her youth and forgets the covenant of her God. Ignoring wisdom's call to pursue pleasure's plea is to leave the golden path that leads to life, to travel the polluted, overcrowded, noisy, and dirty path that leads to destruction and death. The buttery smooth words of the tempter's mouth grease the slippery slope that speeds the journey from the mountaintop to the miry pit, and tragically we find out too late that war was always in his heart to destroy the children of God. His words may have been softer than oil when at first they dripped upon our unguarded heart, but they were drawn with swords and pierced our souls and grieved our Savior's heart. O oh, blessed defender and protector of our souls, forgive us for tuning our ears to any other voice and forfeiting our rich inheritance for worldly treasures where moth and rust destroy and where thieves break in and steal. Your words alone are sweeter than honey to my mouth and the only thing that can satisfy a soul. Tune our ears to listen carefully to you and to eat what is good and let our soul delight itself in abundance. Help us to incline our ear and come to you and hear that our soul should live we cast our burden on you, Lord, trusting you will sustain us, for you will never permit the righteous to be moved. In our weak and weary state, help us to wait upon you and find renewed strength so we can flee youthful lusts and pursue righteousness, faith, love, peace with those who call on the Lord out of a pure heart. Direct our steps, Holy Spirit, to continue in the things which we have learned and been assured of knowing from whom we have learned them, and that from childhood we have known the holy scriptures, which are able to make us wise for salvation through faith which is in Christ Jesus. Help us to heed the voice of wisdom, which cautions us to drink water from our own cistern and running water from our own well, for they will be only our own and not for strangers with us, so that we will not commit a terrible evil against you and forsake the fountain of living waters to form cisterns for ourselves, broken cisterns that can hold no water. Lord, let our fountain be blessed and let us rejoice with the wife of our youth. For why should we be enraptured by an immoral woman and be embraced in the arms of the seductress when the hands that shape the universe are wrapped around our heart? The ways of man are before the eyes of the Lord and you ponder all our paths. Lord, we pray that when you trace our steps, you will find that we have kept closely to the path you paved for us, the well-instructed path of wisdom that leads to life and blessing, and will welcome us with open arms into heaven's light at last. In your presence is where we long to be, for there alone is fullness of life and eternal joy. We bow before you now with humble, grateful hearts and lay our lives at your feet, desiring to bring you the highest praise to you who alone belong glory, honor, power, and praise. In your mighty and majestic name, Lord Jesus, we pray.